This is honestly a really hard video to make. Um, it, I sat down to script it, to script this video, like, you know, legit like YouTube script, like with a hook, with an enticing intro, with curiosity, you know, like YouTube videos are supposed to have. But when it came down to it, I'm like, I got nothing. Um, what you see in the title is true, that it's legit. Um, I am leaving this channel. This is my last video. And you might be thinking, why would anyone, <laughs> why would someone in their right mind be willing or wanting to abandon a channel of over 450 public videos of over 211, 12,000 subscribers and over 8 million views? Well, I'm about to tell you. So grab your tea. I got mine and let's get into it. So if I had to pinpoint it down to one word on why I'm leaving, I think the one word that comes to mind is evolution. So we as humans, especially as entrepreneurs, right? We are evolving all the time. We evolve so much from week to week, month to month. And you can just imagine the evolution that happens in an entire year, okay? So when I started my YouTube channel, I... It was at a point where it literally my starting point of my entrepreneurial journey, right? And that looked like a lot of you probably know that like when I started, I was broke. I was a entrepreneur because I wasn't making a proper dollar in, in my business yet. And I was really, I'd categorize myself as a side hustler. I was hustling my ass off to try to take or try to make a solid revenue and just try to keep afloat. Right. And so I had that as my starting point. And pretty much I think every entrepreneur kind of starts there. They go from, you know, like that entrepreneur or even before that, like curiosity. Right. Like, whoa, like a business. I could start a business. So curiosity to entrepreneur, then to official side hustler, you know, nine to five or going into the side hustle. Right. Then trying to survive. Then finally, OK, there's stability. Then there's like you're an official freelancer. Then after that, you're like, okay, let's take it a step up. Then you're a solopreneur. And then you're eventually a person with a team. Okay. And now I consider myself at the CEO level of a company. There's a core team of six people behind team Marissa Romero, and we are expanding and evolving continuously every day, every month. Right. And it wasn't just you know, me as those titles evolving. It was me as a creator, as a course creator, as a coach, as so many other things that evolve with me over time. The business models changed. And from my perspective, I think what happened was I was documenting happily what I was going through when I was getting started, right? Like I would document, hey, I made my first hundred dollars doing this, or hey, I made $47 um, sending out this email and here's how I did it. I was literally doing and documenting, being real about my journey, wasn't faking results, just, you know, that's what it was. And so there came a point where my channel started to go viral for certain topics, really viral for certain topics. The first topic was work from home jobs. Then um, I got really viral. There was a viral video about Instagram marketing. And then there were more and more viral videos in the make money online niche, such as making money websites, uh, how to start a business from zero, what to do if you only have a dollar today, right? Videos such as what I would do if I was starting from complete zero and scratch, etc., etc. And so the only way I can describe it is like my content was going viral for a point that I was at when I first began. Okay. So as I began to pivot my business model and produce more revenue and grow my team, I would do things like, you know, the very first big investment I did was back in 2019. I invested in a $18,000 mastermind. It was a year long mastermind where I learned advanced funnel strategy and evergreen sales funnels and how to keep track of your business KPIs and all this stuff. And I'm like, wow, so here I am pivoting in my journey and, you know, up leveling and investing in myself and mentors and stuff for the business. But I didn't share this. I wasn't continuing to document what I was learning because my virality and the algorithm was telling me, hey, no, you're here. Stay within these lines of make money online, work from home, 
passive income for free, just um, beginner stuff. And there's nothing wrong with beginner stuff because that's literally where we all start when we want to learn anything, right? From making money online to investing to makeup tutorials to improving a relationship to wanting to lose weight anything in the realm of whatever it is we're trying to learn we are a beginner and so 2019 2020 i became known as a make money online channel and i felt like the pressure to continue along those lines because that's what was bringing me revenue right that's what was bringing the channel revenue so that i could you know, pay for the operating costs of my business so I can t continue to serve people through my paid programs, through all kinds of stuff, right? And I felt this pressure to continue in this way and continue to do what the algorithm was telling me to do. Metrically or metric wise, um, statistics wise, psh, your channel will go viral no matter what if you post this title. And so I really felt stuck because I'm like, man, I really want to share this stuff that I'm learning and literally what I'm doing in my business right now, but I felt like, man, it's not gonna go viral and a lot of people won't understand. And once in a while, I would do it. I would post something very, I guess, intermediate, advanced, and people would be like, Marissa, I have no idea what you're talking about in the comments. They'd be like, I don't even know what a sales funnel is or why I would even need one. And I'm like, okay, so my content is my, this other content that I want to share isn't resonating with my audience. And I'm like, well, forget it. I guess I just won't share it. And the truth was as the years went on and I continued to post like how to make a hundred dollars a day and just super make money online titles, I started to really get frustrated and burnt out. And I felt almost used because I felt like I could only speak on this and no one else wanted to hear anything else from me. I would do polls in my community tab like, hey, what do you want to hear about from me today? Like, do you want to hear about um, YouTube growth, YouTube tips, filming, and da, 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 da. And it was always like, how to start a business for free. Or it was always like, what are the best websites to make money? And I'm like, okay, well, I guess I'll make another one of those videos, right? So I really felt discouraged. And so my frame of thought, I was like, okay, well, maybe if I keep posting the MMO and clickbaity titles, but I teach something real, and practical and sustainable that people can do to really build a business and make money um that'll be great so like i would post a video that was a clickbaity title not gonna lie i wanted clicks i wanted views right but i would show something advanced right like a full tutorial on how to make a bridge thank you page video that would increase conversions and what to say in the thank you bit. just all kind just stuff that's very specific and people would get mad. And I'm like, why are you getting mad? I mean, here's, the, here's the thing. So like the topic, the lazy way topic, which I hate so much. Um, the lazy way topic became a super hot topic. Like people thought that they could really make money online in a lazy way. And it's totally my fault for posting a video called lazy way when I knew it wasn't really truly lazy. But to me, it was lazy because I'm like, I'm giving you every single thing you need to do this. Like I'm giving you a funnel that you could literally duplicate, change the page and start promoting in your own you know, business. And that's all you gotta do. So to me, it was very lazy, but other people got pissed because they were like, this isn't lazy at all. Like, you know, um, you consider this lazy? Your title is very, uh, what's the word? Your title is very misleading. This seems like a lot of work to me. I'm like, well, like, you don't want to do anything like you expect just money to fall from the sky and it was making me upset but I'm, i can't even i couldn't even get upset because uh it was my fault it was my fault for putting lazy in the title and so many people interpreted lazy in a different way so there was that <laughs> but the video went viral and i'm like well ugh. like it was just this constant being pulled in like two different directions and it was it was it was tough really tough and so the whole point of this is my content didn't evolve with me and that killed me inside as a creator because you're not really a creator if you're creating the same thing over and over. There's only so many ways that you can talk about passive income, literally, right? And it was just, I was so angry at the fact that I had to talk about the same three to four topics over and over and over and over. 
And this is honestly where, you know, up here, my mental space just took a big downhill and the burnout really, really started to amplify. And so it was really me continuing to give the algorithm what it wants because I'm not gonna lie, my value that I associated was like really based on these vanity metrics. I'm like, man, if my video doesn't hit 10K views in two or three days, the video sucks, right? On to the next. And so the topics of the content that I was creating years ago definitely is not in alignment to where I am now as a person as a mother, as a CEO, as a business owner, as a wife, as so many other things that I've evolved in and even personal development and just things that you have to do on a day-to-day -day basis to run a business. And that's exactly why I'm leaving this channel because I can't continue to create content from an inauthentic place. I just can't do it anymore. And so the question that a lot of you are probably thinking like, well, why don't you just continue to create the content that you want to on this channel, right? And that's a great question. The reality is I tried. I've tried for the past four to five months to post content that more so aligns with me and where I'm going and the new things, more advanced things. But to be honest, it's tanked. It's destroyed my channel, right? And if you know how the YouTube algorithm works, when you post a bad video, it's not the end of the world. When you post two or three video bad videos, it's still not the end of the world. But the algorithm, it's kind of like shooting yourself in the foot. If you're posting video after video after video that doesn't perform well, the algorithm is going to not promote you. They're going to promote you way, way less. They're no longer going to put your videos on the home feed because they're like, well, no one wants to watch her videos, so they're less popular. Put her to the side and nowhere to be found, right? And that's exactly what happened to my channel. It was like every new video I'd post, it was like shooting myself in the foot or my channel's foot because uh, my videos would appear less and less on suggested and on the home feed. And so bottom line, it's definitely my time to exit and say goodbye. There's a certain energy with this channel that I just no longer resonate with. And there's always, always a temptation to go back to what I know is viral, like the big numbers, the make money online numbers, the how to make $350 a day doing absolutely nothing. There's temptation to go back to making those videos because I'm like, man, if I just post three of those, you know, my channel will be back on track. I don't want that temptation. I want just to be done with that. And so this change is really about evolving and shifting my energy into an area that I know is going to be much more expansive for me and much more in alignment with my truth and what I know and my ability to share and connect with an audience that really needs the new content that I'm wanting to produce. And so honestly, a lot of these changes that has occurred this year, just business, like I literally took my business, dug it up and just relayed a brand new foundation. You know, I'm leaving this channel. So many things have gone on behind the scenes, right? It's crazy, but I can pinpoint it to becoming a mom. Honestly, it's this year I became a brand new mother and my baby boy gave me so much inspiration. And I know that sounds cliche, like, oh yeah, of course, we had these awe-inspiring moments when you become a mom, but you do. I mean, it's like everyone watching this that's a mother or father know that when you become that, problems from the past that you thought were problems literally mean zero now because they're really nothing compared to what really matters in your life in the future problems and challenges that you have to solve. And so with the birth of my son, I really had to evaluate like what type of legacy am I going to leave in this world? I'm like, am I going to want to be talking about MMO and all these things work from home forever? No, like hell no, like definitely not. There's so much more that I'd love to share on YouTube, but I didn't. And it never fit um, with the guidelines of the algorithm. And so you might be wondering, what now? What happens to this channel right here? Um, what's the next step? As far as this channel, I really have no clue what the future is. I imagine for the next few months and the sh short term foreseeable future, I will leave the videos on here. There may come a day where I unlist all of them. I have no idea, right? I will continue to let nature decide and guide my journey and let inspiration also decide on what is the best thing to do moving forward. Um, but yeah, for now, I mean, there's resources on this channel. There's millions, it feels like, of hours of educational things about, you know, starting from scratch, growing a business, passive income, all that stuff. So 
take advantage now while you can. <laughs> so now let's move on to some exciting news, right? I may be leaving this channel, but I'm not leaving YouTube. What's next? Well, I am starting a brand new channel called Subscribers to Sales, right? It is so exciting. As a matter of fact, you can uh, you know subscribe to the channel up here or first link in the description. Um, but that's where I will be starting from scratch. I know for sure this will allow me to serve at a new level. And the great thing is you will be seeing other creators besides me, right? I strongly believe that when you hear something from other people and said different ways that it's a lot more powerful sometimes. There's members of my team that are absolutely incredible and have value to share and they will be sharing and creating on the new channel as well. I'm so excited. As a matter of fact, you can probably check out Dawn's new video on the channel. Dawn is uh, one of the success coaches on our team and her video is probably posted by now so you could check that out and uh, get to know her. Um, and so it's really fun because they'll, there will be multiple creators, there'll be guests and other people invited to the channel to do like a podcast style video. It's so cool. The vision that we have for this new channel, we'll be talking about all advanced topics when it comes to online business and really the scaling part of a business and what I've done to go from, you know, nine to fiver all the way up here to CEO of a company and I'll, you know, this is here, but there's always a new level, a new version of yourself. So I won't start sharing. I'll commit to never stop sharing the higher level stuff that I'm learning. And also my husband David has decided to um, start the subscribers to sales channel in Spanish. You will see the link to his channel when you check out the new video um, on the new channel. It's such a cool story on the whole subscribers to sales brand and company and how that was formed. And so basically there's nothing but love and positive vibes going forward. I just wanted to express my gratitude for everyone who has liked the video, whose comments, I'm like going to get emotional, but I'm not getting emotional. Don't do it. <laughs> but, uh, even though it's goodbye, it's like, it's, it's not goodbye. Cause you're, you're not, I'm not leaving YouTube as I said, but I just wanted to say that it's meant more than you've known the likes, the comments, the feedback, even you haters out there, um, you know, sharing my videos. And for those of you that have commented that something helped you that day from seeing my video, it lights me up. It means more than you could imagine. All right. So I guess that's it. The next thing to do is subscribe to the new channel, Subscribers to Sales. I can't wait to see you there. Go leave a comment and say hello if you're coming from this channel. I want to know. Thank you so much for the love and support. I'll see you soon.